What is up YouTube? Welcome back to another reaction video. Today we're checking out a football legend named Johan Cruyff. Don't know really much about him, but I just know he's popular. I also got it recommended a couple of times, so let's check it out. Before we get into this video, if you guys could subscribe to my channel, help me get to 6,000 subscribers, that'd be really appreciated. So this is also called the modern, I forget, the father of modern football, I'm pretty sure, by Raymar. So check out his channel. I like these type of videos, though. They're like kind of like short documentaries. Hey guys, what's up? It's Raymar, and today we're gonna look at So I found out about him when I did a that tournament on my channel a couple weeks ago. A couple months ago actually. I included him in uh because I looked him up, I looked up, you know, who are some of the better football players of all time? He popped up, I really didn't know much about him, so I was like, you know what, why not check him out? Johan Cruyff was a rare generational talent. As a child, his skill was already noticeably different from everyone around him. This is like, honestly, the third video this month that I reacted to a player from like, back in the day, modern football. So are they tackling each other? Knowing with pure confidence that he had found something special. Imagine how insane that would sound to a club's president today. Seven years later, at the age of 17, Johan Cruyff would make his debut for the men's team at a time where Ajax was literally at the lowest Ajax. of his history. Ajax. Thought it was Ajax. Standing in the league table since the club itself was founded. Just a year later, the 18-year-old Cruyff would prove that he indeed should have a spot in the starting lineup. And ever since Cruyff... <laughs> Not too bad. Spot ...in the starting 11, he absolutely dominated in every single match he played. And trust me, I can't even exaggerate this enough, as Cruyff literally made an immediate impact for his club, scoring a total of 25 goals in 23 appearances. Wow. 1.09 goals per game ratio. Leading his team from the worst season they guaranteed a goal every game into becoming the 1965-1966 Eredivisie champions. All this from an 18-year-old player who just had his first season being in the starting lineup. And Cruyff didn't even play as a forward, but as an nice. midfielder, directly responsible for the flow of his team's offense. From this point on, Cruyff see, I saw he played a little bit though for Barcelona. The dominant club giants in the Netherlands for decades to come into what they are today. People had immense expectations of Cruyff in his home country, and the next season he would go on to completely shatter them as he would go on to score 41 goals in 41 appearances. Once again, that's insane. To another league title in that is definitely league insane. Dutch Cup trophy. At this point, Cruyff was expected to do this first club every single year, and in the 1967-68, no way from right there. I'm about to say. Thirty-four goals in forty appearances, finally earning his very first Dutch Footballer of the Year award, which had for some reason managed to escape him the past few years, but finally could not be denied from him any longer. The next season, while Ajax finished three points behind the league title champions, Cruyff would still produce an absolutely amazing thirty-four goals and twenty-three assists in forty-three appearances, an incredible point seventy-nine goals per game ratio, while also having point fifty. Definitely, just looking at stats like that. His second consecutive Definitely, you can just tell he's one of the best in the league. Lack of success that season, nobody had doubted Cruyff for a moment. As in the 1969-1970 season, he would once again help his club win a double with the Eredivisie title and another Dutch Cup trophy, producing absolutely mind-blowing numbers by scoring 33 goals and getting 34 assists in 46 appearances, wow. a .72 goals per game ratio and insane .74 assists per game ratio, being the only player to ever score at least 30 goals a game but still have more assists in a single season. Cruyff had been incredibly consistent putting up amazing performances, but had yet to take his club to the very top of Europe. That would all change in the 1970-1971 season. That year, Cruyff had scored an incredible six goals in a single match to lead his club to the Dutch Cup, and finally cemented his team as the world's best by winning the European Cup, which, if you didn't know, was basically the old name of the Champions League. He would score 27 goals and pretty cool to just get a history lesson from this too. Appearances along the way, a .73 goals per game ratio, helping him win his third Dutch Footballer of the Year award and his very first Ballon d'Or. 
The 1971-1972 season would see even greater success, with Ajax winning the Eredivisie League title, with Cruyff leading the league in scoring, winning the Dutch... Have, having a good time, the fans. Cruyff would score the only two goals in the final to win the European Cup once again, basically completing the highly coveted treble for Ajax. He would end the That's season awesome. with 33 goals and 10 assists in 45 games. And the next year, Cruyff along with Ajax would once again win the... He's staying consistent though. Not as consistent as he was in his earlier years, but... ...the European Cup, something that had only been done by three clubs in history. The most recent being Real Madrid's Champions League three-peat from 2016 to 2018. Winning a Ballon d'Or along the way. And win his fourth Dutch Footballer of the Year award. This is when football pundits and managers at the time had noticed a new style of football that Cruyff's playing style had enabled, which would eventually become known as total football. Cruyff was so skilled and diverse that he basically moved back and forth from midfield to up top, pressing on offense, which is most simply like how Messi has been playing for the last several years. This theory of football requires a player skilled enough to do that, and Cruyff was a pioneer in such tactic by his pure skill and ability alone. This total football had led Cruyff's Ajax squad to an incredible perfect record of 46 and 0 for two seasons spanning from 1971 to 1973 which had never been seen again in total while playing for Ajax Cruyff would score 273 goals in 375 appearances an incredible 0.73 goals per game ratio as an attacking midfielder Cruyff is also well known for his time in Barcelona when he transferred to the club in the 1973 1974 season for a nice transfer fee at the time Barcelona just has some great history. Scoring 24 goals and having four assists in 38 appearances, helping Barcelona beat their rivals Real Madrid and win their very first league title in over. Even I didn't even know they were rivals back in the day like that. At Barcelona, Cruyff only managed to win one La Liga title in 1974 and one Copa del Rey in 1978. He scored 85 goals and had 15 assists in 227 appearances, while delighting and putting on a show for countless fans with his skills in dribbling and scoring. Getting older but still producing though. Cruyff would also invent the iconic move known as the Cruyff turn while playing for his national team of the Netherlands in no other than the United Some pretty cool jerseys, I like those. Cruyff would faint a pass before dragging the ball back and turning 180 degrees to surprise and get past his defender. And the World Cup is one heck of a place to pioneer a completely new football move. In fact, Absolutely. you still see this move being used to beat defenders till this very day. Cruyff was also incredible for his national team. In that very same World Cup, Cruyff would lead his team to the final, scoring three goals and having three assists along the way. That orange and white combination, that's just awesome, it. Orange and black, too. Cruyff's efforts in 1974 earned him a consecutive Ballon d'Or award, the very first of a small list to ever win the award three times. Leo Messi, geez, how many does he have? Two goals and 108 assists in 702 appearances, a .57 goals per game and .15 assists per game ratio throughout his 20-year club career and an international career of 33 goals in 48 games, a .69 goals per game ratio for his country. However, Cruyff would leave an even longer-lasting legacy when he returned to football as a manager. He spent three years at Ajax from 1985 to 1988, being known as an innovator in attacking playstyle. Cruyff was also amazing at spotting talent, like when he scouted Marco Van Bastian and Dennis Bergkamp at very young ages and helped them develop their foundation. Those soccer cleats. He also returned to Barcelona in 1988 as one of the most iconic managers in the history of the club. Cruyff would essentially lay the foundations for generations of future success at Barcelona. Within his eight years in the club, Cruyff won four consecutive La Liga titles, three Spanish Super Cups, one Copa del Rey, one UEFA. So even a legend as a coach too. Champions League title. Cruyff also helped push Do they have a Hall of Fame in uh, the sport? I don't know. For long-term success and brought in iconic Barcelona players like Pep Guardiola, Ronald Koeman, Michael Laudrup, and Romario, leaving many apprentices to his method and mind as a footballing legend. Cruyff's coaching doctrine of total football and innovation of the 4-3-3 lineup would be one of the first uses of a defensive or holding midfielder. So he's even creating stuff too. Midfielder, which has even been used as a blueprint and building block of Pep Guardiola's eventual Tiki Taka style of football. Bringing up Tiki Taka too. Other I remember reacting to that. That was so just unique. Cruyff was in many ways one Look at those of, the of the modern game of football, both as a player and a coach, being one of the most influential footballers in history.
Cruyff passed away in March 24, 2016 at the age of... Not too long ago. But best believe he will be forever remembered as he has affected the game in unforgettable ways and his name will continue to be spoken as long as the beautiful game is still being played. But that's all from me today, guys. This video was made possible. Well, everybody, I'm in a different setting right now doing my uh, outro, but uh, that is Johan Cruyff. A legend i could definitely see why he was considered one of the all-time greats that was actually pretty enjoyable you don't always see the type of highlights that you know i'm usually used to reacting to players but i got to see some insight of him some history of not only him but just the sport and uh you know all the leagues and teams like that so it was definitely a cool video if you enjoyed please subscribe to my channel i'm close to six thousand subscribers i really want to get there quick that'd be really appreciate it i'm out peace